hi and welcome back to my channel and if you're new hi and welcome to my channel um, I'm continuing with the rising sign readings for the month ahead which the rest of September I've been quite late and sort of distracted with a whole bunch of things this month um, so far so yeah but we're up to the rising sign of Scorpio rising and I always like to um, let everyone know about what's going on astrologically um, in the skies at the moment we know that pretty much almost every planet is in retrograde um, except uh, Venus just recently moved out of retrograde but now she's in her post shadow until probably early October is my guess because um, Mercury when Mercury's retrograde in and he has his post shadow phase it's usually around two weeks after the retrograde and Mercury Mercury moves a lot faster than Venus does so that's where I'm sort of trying to calculate that it was probably going to be early October once Venus is completely out of her post shadow phase um yeah so oh God. <laughs> anyway um the sun and moon in astrology in the charts are classed as planets but they never go retrograde the only other planet that's not going to go retrograde all this year is mars and he's not going to be retrograde until late 2024 next year um somewhere near the end of next year it's going to be that mars will be retrograde again so he's not retrograde at all this year so he's um got the supportive forward motion energies which in a sense it can it, it, there can be two sides to that because mars is very fiery aggressive assertive energy as well um and we have um jupiter is actually retrograding in the sign of aries which is mars ruled we're also going to have a full moon eclipse in um aries as well which is mars ruled i'm talking of um top eccentric true sidereal as, um, astrology system um, because that uses the actual size of the constellations um, as you'd see it if you were looking through a telescope rather than stacking everything in neat 30 degree sections um, which they're actually not if you look at the night sky with a telescope you'll see that there, there's different sizes for instance Virgo and Pisces are the largest of the constellation sizes and um, I think it's Cancer is a very small constellation, for instance. So they're all different sizes. And um, topocentric true sidereal accounts for that. That system is um, more accurate. Um, so anyway, um, I mentioned the um, eclipses because uh, the last couple of months I've, I've, I got a bit confused because I thought the eclipses weren't happening till later in the year. Um, but they're actually happening next month and I mixed it up because I um, I know how, what I mixed up now because Jupiter is actually the, the one that's going to be stationing direct right at the end of December. So I kind of mixed up that I thought it was the eclipses near, near the end of December but it's Jupiter going direct after his retrograde. Um, yeah, so the eclipses are happening next month and the first one will be the um, solar new moon eclipse I think it's around the 14th of October and then the full moon eclipse lunar eclipse will be two weeks after that around the 28th of October and the reason I say that is that there's a there's a um, three phases to the eclipse is pretty much the same as there is for um, retrograding planets where there's the pre shadow then there's the actual phase then there's the post shadow and so we are in the pre shadow of the eclipse doorway now because it's three months either side at least three months either side of the actual eclipse energy so it's quite a powerful potent time and energy to work with and um, especially with the eclipses we really have to be brutally honest with ourselves some, sometimes as to if there's something that's sabotaging us in some way or that we're hanging on to that if we were really honest with ourselves we know it's no good for us um, you know that's when the eclipses will come in and just rip it away from us kind of thing and we're just left you know freaking out 
because I, I know because I've, I've had a couple of eclipse tower moments and they're, they're very unpleasant let me tell you um, so you want to be in the driver's seat is the bottom line um, and eclipses aren't always bad because by working on whatever we need to tweak and change we're putting ourselves in the best possible position to then get the good of the eclipses the good energy the bringing in of the new the, the having things um, work out for us in a better way um, getting our life back on track if that's necessary you know or certain areas of our life improving our quality of life you know and that's the same with the retrogrades as well um, now also um, Venus was in retrograde and she moved out recently moved out of retrograde um, and she initially before moving out of the retrograde she dipped into the Cancian sign cancer home family sign um, didn't check if she's moved out of there yet or if she's still in there and but she'll be moving into Leo if she isn't already back again because the whole point is retrogrades are like it they appear the planets appear to move backwards which means they you know digress into the previous sign so to speak so once they're direct again they're then moving forward again so she'll be back in leo shortly if she's not already um but yeah she's in post shadow like i said probably early october she'll be completely out of post shadow um jupiter then around the same time he then stationed retrograde as i said in aries um yeah uh so that's already happened 5th of september has already passed by the time i'm doing this <laughs> um yeah so then yeah and as i said he's not getting out of retrograde until the end of december 30th of december which then he's stationing direct which means then he's moving into his post shadow phase so there's still all those energies to work with now a few months back when the other mercury retrograde was happening can't remember what sign it was in but um a lot of the time you'll hear everyone sort of doom saying sort of if that's the way to say it i don't know if that's the right word to use or if i've used it correctly but they'll say oh don't sign contracts don't go into relationships romantic or business don't don't do anything you know don't do this don't do don't buy anything new don't do this don't do that well the, the point is the retrogrades are here to help us improve our quality of life and perhaps that of those we care about as well and so sometimes it is needed that we need to go into a contract that we need to get something new to improve our quality of life or that of others um, and that's where the retrogrades will support us when they don't support us is when we're doing it for ego or status alone and you know just just trying to um you know um how do i put it like if you already had a, a, a car that was working well but you wanted to get some sort of like i, I don't know mercedes benz or something that was really expensive something like that just for the sake of, of show well what could happen then is it could either break down or or have some problem with servicing or or something will go wrong in some way because you weren't working with the retrograde in that sense if that's the um, attitude you were going with and that's the same with contracts um, as well if it is that it's it's something that is going to benefit ourselves and possibly others as well then the retrogrades are all for it and they want to support you they want you to go all of them all of the retrogrades are showing you a different perspective that's the whole point they're trying to show you a different perspective what's available to you whether it's a romantic relationship whether it's a business partnership whether it's getting a new house new car um whether it's um what else repairing things perhaps if, if something's needing to be repaired replaced whatever if you're at least looking into it to allow the retrogrades to show you what's available then you're working with them in in that way you, you're still working with them whether you decide to or not to sign a contract or go into a new partnership or whatever um, and with the idea of partnerships whether it's business or romantic for instance um, because 
not everyone is into astrology. So there's still people out there that will enter into all this new stuff and not know, you know, what's going on with astrology and not care, you know, if they're not into it. So things still go on, even with the retrogrades, for instance. But the idea is with uh, whether we're signing contracts, if it isn't, if we're signing a contract, for instance, we're going into some business partnership or romantic, you know, if we're not signing a contract and we're just simply going with an emotional contract, you could call it with a romantic partnership. If we're not flexible from the get go, or if someone, if the other partner is not flexible and so, and you're like, well, I want this this way and that's it, and I'm not willing to grow, evolve, change over time, you know, as in what what, you know, the circumstances. If you if you or the other is not willing to grow, evolve, change with the circumstances over time, then it's going to screw up. Um, but if you're both open to growing, evolving, changing, and that often can happen with business partnerships especially, but it can also happen with romantic partnerships. You know, you grow older, you you like certain things one time and you don't like it the other. You know, you grow and evolve and change over time. Um, and so, yeah, so in that sense, if you're flexible and open to it, uh, things growing and evolving and changing, then yes, you know that's what the retrogrades are showing you yes jump into this because it'll work because you're both you know wanting to be flexible and, and work with this so you know there's they're supporting you with that and like i said you don't have to agree to anything anyway you can just go okay that's what's available to me i'll i'll think about it you know at least then you're allowing the retrogrades to show you what's available in whatever sense that is um and the idea of improving your quality of life a few months ago when I said, like, if there's something, if if your house um, is falling apart or something like that, or, or your car is falling apart and it's, it's dangerous to drive, well, that's exactly why the Mercury retrograde is then saying, come on, let's go car shopping or house hunting, you know, improve the quality of life. Maybe you've got bad neighbours or something you need to get out of the neighbourhood and go to somewhere much more pleasant for yourself and your loved ones, you know, for instance. Or maybe you're renting somewhere and the landlord is not wanting to fix anything and it's, it's really stressing you out and it's not a good quality of life. Mercury retrograde saying, ha, take a look at what other places are available. Look around to see what other rentals are available. You know, see, showing you what's available to you. Let's go shopping here. Let's go looking for, for another flat uh, house, whatever. Let's go looking for another car. You know, showing you what's available. Then you can decide if you want to go ahead and, and accept that. That's what you do with the retrogrades. That's how you make them work for you. Um, yeah, so pass it on. <laughs> I think I've sort of got off my soapbox now. Um, yeah, so I just sort of, I guess I got really um, into it then. Um, I think I've covered everything now. Um, so we'll jump into your reading finally. Sorry, I don't know how long I've been. But yeah, anyway, um, fifth house. Well, that's Leo themes, fun romance creativity children um fifth house what's fifth house for you what's covering your fifth pisces is in your fifth yeah pisces is in your fifth so it's leo themes covered by the sign of pisces libra well that's seventh house themes but it's not in seventh house libra's in your 12th yeah libra's in your 12th because you're scorpio rising so Pisces themes covered by the sign of Libra. Then we've got Aquarius. And that's 11th house themes, but it's... Yeah, Aquarius is in your fourth house, which is home and family, covered by the sign of Aquarius community. So relationships with the Pisces, um, spirituality, art, beauty. Yep, yeah, we'll... we'll Libra likes beauty as well, you know, art and beauty. Eighth house, well, that's Scorpio themes, do, 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 your rising sign, but obviously not your rising sign because it's in the eighth house. Um, what's in your eighth? Gemini. 
Yeah, Gemini's in your eighth. And here we've got Aquarius themes. Uh, Libra was in your 12th, so we're looking at Virgo um, in your 11th. So Aquarius themes covered by the sign of Virgo. And Juno. Ooh, you, you got Juno too. Another um, sign got Juno. So we might be looking at relationships. Hmm. So we've got Libra with Pisces. So there's some sort of spiritual aspect. A lot of Aquarius energy. So community. We hit off the reading with the fun house, so to speak, fifth house. So it might be something about bringing more fun into things. And this is about giving and receiving in equal measure. Are you getting what you, are you getting your needs met in a relationship? And are you giving the same back sort of thing? Balanced reciprocation in relationships, which I think has got something to do with community. What's in your eighth again? Gemini, which is the communications Mercury ruled Gemini. Where did we get Virgo? Where was Virgo again? 11th house, wasn't it? Because Mercury rules Gemini and Virgo, see? See the connection there? So definitely communicating is needed. Communicate to get your needs met and communicate in a way so that others get their needs met as well so far i'm getting it's a community though it's not necessarily a one-on-one -on -one relationship type of thing we'll see what else comes through sixth house virgo themes the work health and duty area of your life virgo themes sixth house um what was in your fifth uh pisces so sixth house is aries Aries covers your sixth house. So we've got fire, fire. Mars. Mars is the only planet not retrograde this year. Your physical energy drives strength and lightning spirit. Oh, not lightning. Lightning, wow. Lightning. Um, Uranus ruled Aquarius. Lightning. Um, fighting spirit, it says. I mean, that doesn't necessarily mean arguments, although Mars definitely can bring arguments in the negative sense. But, um, you know, fighting spirit can be fighting for, fighting for the rights of others or yourself, you know, that sort of thing. Not necessarily fighting, but just speaking up, yeah. What else have we got? Pisces. The energy is wistful, endlessly loving, compassionate and forgiving. It confuses and softens resolve. We've got Pisces in the middle there. So we've got beauty, spirituality, art. Okay, we'll see what else has come through. Because you've got quite a few cards at the, the second half of this. So we'll see. Try and get through. Taurus, the bombshell. Taurus has you in seventh house relationships, seventh house, the house of liberal relationships. Sextile, good aspect to have. Opportunity, so there's opportunity. Okay, Scorps, I think you need to um, be the bombshell. I think you need to show yourself in some way you need to sort of yeah i think you need to have a bigger part in this community thing so you get your needs met and others as well you know balancing it all out like libra likes yes you're scorpio not libra but you know you've got libra in you we've all got every sign in our charts so the, the, the sort of thing that um sometimes when i hear other readers say Oh, you might have this sign in your chart or you might have that sign. We have every single sign in our chart. 
every single sign affects us in some way in our chart just <laughs> again I, have, I obviously haven't got off my soapbox yet but yeah um ninth house sag themes seeking so that's the higher learning travel expansion growth jupiter's retrograde and you can still definitely have expansion and growth with jupiter retrograde um in fact because jupiter's showing you what's available like i said so it's not a matter of because they're retrograde they are not going to give you what they normally would no it's it's the other way around it's they're wanting to show you what you perhaps haven't seen and when i say you i mean anyone of any sign um okay so what's in your ninth what does that get look covered by i think that's a water sign i think that's cancer yeah i think the cancer sign covers your ninth house so sag and cancer connecting there ascendant well that's your rising sign outlook the first yeah and see mars ruled aries aries house first house is aries themes the aries house is covered by the sign of scorpio hence for you it's your scorpio rising ascendant outlook first thing everybody the world sees of you um semi-sextile allowing mm, okay allowing your ascendant to shine in the group whatever the group or community that is because look you've got the easy aspects here so far you've got quite a few of these so there may be reversals there may not we'll walk through those um, I think I need to bring something through here. Now, wasn't this cancer? Home family sign covered by the Sagittarius, Jupiter, expansive, higher learning, travel, spirituality, and your ascendant smack bang in the middle of sextiles. So expansion with home and family. It or whoever feel like home and family but yeah allow allow your ascendant to shine allow yourself to be seen yeah that's what i was picking up libra balance that's upright and we've got libra over here as well which was some um, in the pisces 12th house fourth house home well this is in reverse so perhaps it's been a bit sort of um, topsy-turvy because remember we were talking about Juno and working out balancing um, give and take within a community. And so that's probably what that's reiterating that at this point it hadn't seemed that way, but it looks like you have every chance of... of um, getting that balance coming through you got the opportunity allow yourself to shine and that's going to bring things through and see we've got the action of spirituality coming through here okay satin structure well yeah that makes sense as well because it's in reverse so perhaps there hasn't been structure or actually i think maybe there's been too much structure and not enough enjoyment remember we hit it off with the fifth house of enjoyment and perhaps there's there's um been too much structure and you need to bring enjoyment into it as well by allowing yourself to be seen <laughs> another reversal cancer immerse because you haven't been immersing yourself perhaps in this group or community and you need to do that so that this can come around and um, work in your favor because we've got cancer themes coming through so a lot of home family feeling um, a lot of gentle water vibes and you're a water sign Jupiter, look at this. Now, this is the probably, arguably, the best card in this deck, right? 
it's upright and it's saying abundance. Like I said, just because Jupiter's retrograde does not mean you can't have abundance in all forms. It's a fantastic card to get. All right, Pallas Athena, think. Well, maybe there's been too much thinking, see, and not enough enjoyment and not enough communicating instead. You know, we can get in our own head and um, be a bit intense. We've all got Scorpio in our signs. Just because you guys are Scorpio rising doesn't mean I'm throwing shade on you because I've got Scorpio in my um, chart. Everybody does. So we've all got it, uh, our different ways of being intense um, depending on what house Scorpio falls in for us. Um, you know, but maybe the intensity has been that you've been overthinking things. You've been perhaps in your own head in some way and not allowing yourself to be seen in this community or group or whatever communicating because gemini remember gemini covers your eighth house and gemini is the chatterbox of the zodiac pretty much and the 11th house is the other chatterbox type um, area because it's more about the community whereas gemini is more local it's more wider and expansive with um, the 11th house being, you know, the overall community. You need to be seen, my friends. You need to be seen. Bring in some sort of form of art. Mars is here in Mars, like I said, is is not retrograde all this year. He's in um, forward motion. He wants to support you to bring in the whatever beauty, art, whatever that you have hidden away. Express that in some way so that there's an equal give and take, give and receive sort of thing. Express you, express your art, you express your talent, whatever it is. Don't hold back anymore. Don't keep sitting in fear. You know, that's, that's a negative side of Saturn as well, the fear thing, which generally, in most cases, the fears are unfounded. They're not, they're, you know, the, we're getting in our own head kind of thing, you know. And Pallas Athena, she's the warrior goddess, weighing up the pros and cons. And see, this is in reverse. I think you've been getting in your own head. Hmm. I mean, maybe, maybe you do need to weigh up the pros and cons a bit more. But I've got the feeling that's more that you need to get out of your own head <laughs> um seventh house relationship again reversal libra themes seventh where was seventh for you again that no it wasn't aries it was um taurus taurus is in your seventh yeah see we've got a bit of reiteration again be the bombshell show yourself off. taurus is your descendant see as well right it's the opposite of the chart so you've got your rising sign we always have our rising sign in the first house aries themes then across right across exactly across is your descendant which is taurus so there's this balance that needs to happen did we get balance somewhere where did we get yeah see this is upright libra balance so you can achieve that balance with the seventh house relationships with your descendant opposite sign taurus that's what we have to do no matter what signs we are we have to throughout our life we've got to find a way to balance our ascendant and our descendant and then our mc work life with our ic home life you know that's the, the it's always a balancing act all through our lives if that makes sense um so again you the these these can these reversals can all turn upright for you once you get out of your head bring yourself to be part of the group community whatever show what you've got to offer because it's amazing and look here you've got an artist palette here opportunity art remember i said art with the beauty and art with the libra and and the pisces 
show what you have to offer and don't hold back. Don't hide yourself. Don't be in fear. Get out of your own head. <laughs> Sorry, but yeah. Neptune. See, it's upright. Yes, it's in retrograde. Neptune's, yeah, Neptune's retrograde in Pisces. And like I said, don't fear the retrogrades. The retrogrades are here to show you what's available, to show you a different perspective if you need to see one, um, depending on the planet and the sign it's in. But yeah, it's all about helping us to move our life forward and give us a better quality of life in general. That's what they're all about. Neptune, this card is upright. Um, so I think that you're getting, you're getting this added help here. See, Neptune's the ruler of the Pisces sign, the planetary ruler of the Pisces sign. Lots of water coming in here and a bit of fire as well. But yeah, Jupiter's wanting to support you as well as Neptune. Moon, and it's in reverse. See here, look, perception. Exactly, change your perception. And again, no shade. Remember, we've, uh, the retrogrades are happening to everyone. So we're all needing to take a look. You know, there's probably more than one planet for every one of us that we're needing to change our perspective in some way. So that, again, that makes sense that it's in reverse, but you can turn that around, have a bit of a different per perception about yourself and what you have to offer because it is worthwhile and people will benefit and so will you because look the abundance is here so it's not like you're going to you know break your back to to get nothing from it you'll get something from this too as well as self-worth show what you've got to offer because there's something creative that wants to come through remember we Hit, it up, hit, up, hit the ground running with the fifth house of creativity. Bam, straight away from the start. So I think that, that that's your mission for, for um, September, guys. September. Open up to your creativity and um, show people who you are and what you've got to offer because... See, this is the thing. Jupiter is retrograding in the sign of Aries, and Aries is the one where the, the first, the first um, sign of the zodiac, what the world sees of us straight out, straight up, bam. First house, Aries, Aries themes, right? First cap off the rank or whatever you want to call it, which is where we always find our rising sign, how the world sees us. Jupiter is retrograding in Aries, wanting us to work on how the world sees us you know that sort of thing as well in different perspectives depending on what house it's hitting for us and for you it's obviously in Aries so it's hitting six house Virgo themes covered by the sign of Aries health duty service to others see balance of reciprocation giving and receiving what you've got to offer is good enough you see what I mean? Dare to show that because it's going to help you and others by doing that. Okay, so what numerology do we have for the Scorpio Rises? Scorpio Rises, numerology. Spirit, what do you want me to know? Oh, wow, I've got to chase that one down. Is there any others? Did you want any others? Okay, we're done. Alrighty. Just hang on a second, guys. Let's see if I can reach. Ah. Got it. Okay. So, what do we have? Oh, we've got, wow, we've got four. Right? That happened with another one that there was more than what I realised. Financial discipline. Well, the abundance is coming in. But, you know, while you're waiting, be a bit disciplined and don't be um, rushing. Like, how do I put it? For me, 
um, I can tend to be an emotional spender and sort of just sort of go, oh, I like that, I'll buy it. And so it's sort of, in that sense, don't be like that. <laughs> because I've, I've had to really pull back a bit myself, which is probably why I've missed doing um, a few more um, deck reviews because I'm trying not to buy decks. Um, but, yeah, so <laughs> I need financial discipline and I'm not Scorpio rising, see, so there's no shade. Um, financial discipline, you know to get you until you get your your um, abundance coming in but it is going to come in so like you know because when is the the new moon's probably around about i think what the 12th or 14th 12th 13th 14th the new moon energy is going to come in and it's not new moon yet so until then have financial discipline until the um, new moon energies come through. Oops. Oh, here we go. So we've got heart chakra colours. And then we've got the number of the builder, number four. Eight is also stability, um, money, security and something else. And I can't remember what else it is. But four and eight comes to a three, which is action, activity and communication, Gemini themes. And that's that's the uh, Scorpio themes covered by the eighth house, eighth house Gemini. Uh, covered by the sign of Gemini. Eighth house Scorpio themes covered by the sign of Gemini. Uh, um adventure yes yeah, see jupiter expansive have that adventure you're gonna really love it you know allow yourself to show your rising sign and what you the creativity you have to offer art beauty whatever it is spirituality it wants to come through and i've turned that around because i believe you after this, we'll change your perception if, there, if there's something you need to change your perception about. And like I said, anyway, no shade because all the retrogrades are telling every single one of us to change our perception in some way for something. Um, but, yeah, have an adventure because you're really going to love getting going on that ride. You really are. And, see, this is a healing colour with the um, turquoise colour and that's heart chakra green. And this is a, a master number. I, I consider all double numbers up to 99 are master numbers anyway. So 515 on its own means freedom. And you've got two. See what I mean? So there's others. You and others can experience freedom. And what better way of experiencing freedom, for starters, with a, by allowing your creativity and your own self to shine. Follow your dreams, exactly. Heart chakra colours. We already did eight and we already did five. Eight, money, security, stability, five, freedom. Eight and five is four. The number of the builder, again. Self-love, boom. Love yourself enough to show your creativity and know that what you have to offer is worth it. I think I'm getting a broken record. I think you guys <laughs> have, have got it. I, I often say I feel a little bit intimidated by you, Scorpio Rises. But, yeah, I, I think you've probably got it like 20 minutes ago. <laughs> Whatever. Self-love. Boom. And here we've got a bit of burnt orange. So we've got the base and the um, sacral chakra energies mixed, I think, the red and the orange. And the blue, speak up. Remember, speak up and be heard. Speak up, express your creativity and what you have to offer. Six, on its own, temporary opportunity. Doesn't necessarily mean it won't come back, but it's here now. Grab a hold of it and run with it. And one is personal power and emotional vitality and six and one is seven the mind and creativity creativity see i think once you get out of your fear thing if that's what's been holding you back 
because this is in this was upright right from the start remember the abundance is here for you it's here for the taking for you um okay so what does the universe want you to know about abundance for the rest of september when you scorpio rises what do you guys need to know about abundance for september going through okay <laughs> what do the Scorpio risers need to know about their abundance for September Oop. Oop, here we go we're starting now okay oh, we're being specific aren't we really both of them okay anything else Really? Okay. okay we'll put that back. Um, <laughs> okay. So, While it's often thought that happiness may spring from having some serious bucks, it actually works best the other way around. Your celestial financial planner, financial discipline, the universe. And here we go again with the financial thing. Abundance can come in and will come in for you for September. And this is probably where the financial discipline is in the sense that don't, don't worry about not having the money. It's going to come. So don't worry about the money if that's, if that's the thing that's stressing you out. Because the more we concentrate and, and, and focus and think about the lack, about the things we don't have, the more we're bringing that energy to us about lack and the things that we don't have so that we get more lack and things we don't have. And, you know, so we're more focused on it that way. But what we need to do is swap it around, see, change the perception. Think about um, that you already have it, you know. Think about, okay, if you had the finances that you want to have if that was already here what would you then do because you would no longer have to be um, concerned or worried or, or stressing about not having the money because it's already there so what would you be doing you'd be following your dreams and going on an adventure because you would have that time free instead of wasting it stressing I always like this one where the trees are growing towards the sun because we've got the sun didn't we sun ruled leo themes anyway um no i don't think that was no it wasn't um yeah lots of green growth remember the builder um if more people knew how admired they already are they'd be even more admirable same for knowing how cool, fun, healthy, wealthy and wise they already are. And zippy in admiration of the universe. Again, reiterating, think that you already have it and then it's going to come even more in abundance for you. See? Okay. Have you wondered if when you just close your eyes take a few minutes and redirect your thinking change your perception i'm going to not cover that um the monsters might shrink see the fears will go away um the grins might grow and the floodgates might begin trembling again try it except when driving the universe that perception thing here we go okay Okay, and this says, go way out. 
Think beyond your dreams. Well, here we go. Think beyond your present dreams to the dreams you will dream once they have already come true. See? That, yeah. Can't make this stuff up. Thank you, Spirit. Um, and when you can, um, when you can clearly see how confident you will walk and how proud you will feel, start walking and feeling like that today. Far out the universe. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. Boom. And then this one. You want what you want because you know it's possible. If it wasn't, you wouldn't. This is powerful. Embrace it for whatever else you believe or don't believe. This belief alone can take you the distance. And what you want wants you, the universe. Be the bombshell. Show your rising sign, Scorp. People need to see it. And you need that as well. Bring that creativity out in whatever form that is for you. Follow your dreams. Get on that adventure. And have the right of your life in, in September. Yay. Abundance is yours. It's coming to you. Know that it's coming to you and act as if it already is here. Because it, it is. In energy, it is. So when you put the energy out there that you also agree that it is, then it's going to come faster. Wow. Yay. Okay, so what do the guardian angels want you guys to know for the rest of September? What do the Scorpio Rises need to know from the guardian angels? What do you want them to know? They're doing this again, aren't they? Being specific, here we go. Okay. Okay, there'll be more than that, surely. Yep. Oh my god. Wow. What? Oh my god. Really? Wow. Okay. I better be able to get through these. Was there any others that turned over? <laughs> okay. That seems like a lot. Well, we're going with it. <laughs> dreams this is a wondrous time of healing and positive transformation jupiter is wanting you to transform and change that perception of yourself yeah um embrace life each moment and keep focused on your dreams yeah. retain the purity of your vision and you will draw success to you all you have, all you ever wished for even that which seemed a distant dream is about to manifest bam Prayer. Should have ended on that one. That would have been awesome. Sorry. But it's still there. It's right in the middle. Okay, prayer. Dear Guardian Angel, help me dissolve past guilt or regret. Yes. Yep. You know the drill. Um, help me to see that all is always in perfect and divine order. Help me to let go of the fear that I project on my future. There we go again with the negatives of Saturn. Um Help me to live fully within each precious moment and feel your eternal love within and around me. Help me to realize and fulfill my true potential. Thank you. Yes. What else have we got? Forgiveness. Holding on to a past hurt is preventing you from moving forward and achieving your heart's desires. Get on that adventure. Let it go. Forgiveness does not mean that you condone another's actions. It simply means that you are no longer willing to be a perpetual victim to a particular person or event. Blame is a waste of your precious energy. Bless and surrender the past, for in doing so, you will reclaim the joy of life. Yes. Intuition. Trust your intuition and know that what seems logical may not necessarily be right. The answer to your question lies inside your heart. Endless possibilities exist for you. Stop trying to work it all out and feel your way through. We, your angels, will guide you. Trust your feelings. What feels right is right. That feels right. Do it. Get on that adventure. Follow your dreams. Yay. 
Oh. We've all got Sag in our charts. We've got every sign in our charts. Jump into the Sag energy and, and show, and, and get on that adventure. Sagittarius adventure, Jupiter expansion. Show your, show your creativity, your rising sign. Let it shine to the world. In the world. <laughs> I'm just really excited for you guys. There's so much amazing energy for you guys for the rest of September and onwards. Expression. Here we go again. See, express. Expression. Express your rising sign, your creativity. I, I'm, I know. Sorry, guys. I'm saying it over and over again. Express how you feel clearly and lovingly. Here we go with Juno. Yeah. And honestly, without fear or judgment, say it exactly like it is. All will be resolved when you express to others, Juno again, um, how you truly feel. Trust in the power of life to guide you and heal all concerned. Self-expression self is liberating. See, she looks liberated and so should you. Is liberating and healing. Gratitude. Thank you. This is a heartfelt thanks to you from someone you recently helped in some way. I, your guardian angel, also wish to thank you for the unconditional love you emanate to the earth, humanity and those around you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You are eternally blessed. May peace, grace and love forever guide you along your sacred path. Yes, exactly self-love be the bombshell follow your dreams and get on that adventure oneness someone you dearly miss is forever present in your heart remember dearest one that even though there has been a physical parting spiritually those we love never leave us creation is eternal nothing is ever truly missing for all is interconnected and ultimately one we're getting through them Positive change. Here we go again. Yay. Dare to be different. Yes. Um, when you are criticised, remember that you will never please everyone. Many brilliant and gifted individuals were not fully appreciated or understood in their own lifetime. Yet it is often they who have sown the seeds of change. Get on that adventure. Follow your dreams. Sow the seeds of change. Others will follow suit. They'll see, you know how powerful and strong you are and if you don't feel that you will because you've got that opportunity you've got the easy flow easy go energies trines and sextiles are the easiest energies in the chart and you've got them in your reading here love negative thoughts and feelings are sabotaging your pursuit of happiness here we go again um, we, your angels, are here to help you heal. Allow our healing light to flow through your heart. Consciously infuse each negative thought or feeling with love and light. Feel both your heart and mind aligning to your soul's sacred purpose and unleash your divine potential, creativity, potential, um, through the power of love. A couple more and then we're done. Um, prayer dear guardian angel help me to believe that all is possible through love yes it is self-love boom right next to your you know the bombshell rising sign let it up yes Taurus isn't your rising sign but we're looking at the bombshell in that sense to show what stance you should take about showing yourself and what you've got to offer Dear Guardian Angel, help me to believe that all is possible through love. Help me manifest my dreams and live an inspiring and fulfilling life. See, Jupiter wants that for you, retrograde or not. Help me to feel God's presence in every moment. Help me feel eternally loved. Thank you for being always by my side. Yes. And, um, yep, this one's last but not least, positive outcome. Is there one? Yep, I thought there was two. Um, 
at this very moment you are sowing the seeds of your future through your thoughts feelings beliefs and attitudes remember change the perception get on that adventure and follow your dreams that's the perception you need to change about yourself um whether through love fear or indif indifference you are always creating something so remember to keep your thoughts beliefs and attitudes positive and you will create a positive outcome bam i'm going to put that there so it's near the middle i think you've got the point <laughs> wow you've got so much good energy that coming through for you for september and onwards so i really hope you tap into all this because you an adventure awaits and it's going to be a really amazing ride you're going to really enjoy it you're going to love it dare to be you dare to show what you're capable of you know let people see your rising sign get out there show the world you because people want to see it and people will enjoy what you have to offer and so there'll be that empowerment for you and others as well and the healing okay on that note i wish you all the best of luck for september and onwards and until next time bye for now